Folks, MJ Kelly here. And Jayla. And today we are finally doing the long and awaited question, question and, and answer. What? Question and answer video. Ah! And all right, now with this video, unlike with previous Q and A's I've done with Sean, like we just read it straight off the video. But with this one, what I did was I actually went through the whole video and I we looked stuff. You were so technically you were supposed to only write your questions under that video, but we know some of you asked on like my page and stuff, so we did. So just so you know, next time we're doing a Q&A, remember, type it under the video where we say, when we post a video and say we're doing a Q&A, post it under that video. Don't post it anywhere else, otherwise we're not, we don't want to have to go looking for it again. So, mm -hmm. now, now, um, we had seen there was also a lot of multiples of other questions we don't want the video to take forever you know we don't want to this might be two videos this might be two different videos we don't know how long this is going to take but we had we're not going to do multiples of, of questions like if someone asks us the same question like if someone else asked the same one another guy asked we already answered it so we won't ask you know now we're going to get straight to it the first question is from all right peter finn films his question is, what are your favorite, least favorite, most underrated, and most overrated movies in the animated Disney canon? Well, now when he says animated, just to say for argument's sake, he means cartoon, drawn, and computer animated. Like, you know, I didn't really clarify that, so... Well, let me answer this one first. Um, my favorite, I would have to say, was The Little Mermaid. I'm a sucker for fish. And, <laughs> um... Well, we do like sushi. Yeah, I love sushi. But anyways, um, my favorite was The Little Mermaid, and I would have to say my second favorite um, was Beauty and the Beast, but I'm a girl, so I guess right. that's a Both given. really good, yeah. My least favorite, I would have to say, was um, Pocahontas. Right. My, actually, that's one of my least favorite, too, but the thing is, I only saw it once. I my probably already said this before in another video, My this the, the experience I had, the movie experience. Mm -hmm. I was at a daycare center, and that day it was me, um, these two teenage boys, I remember when I came out, I was like eight or nine, I think, when it came out, and a whole bunch of, I think, two, or a whole bunch of these little girls, and the woman's like, all right, we're going to oh, go man. see this, and it sucked, and I'm like, I don't want to see it, and she made a deal with the guys and said, all right, if you come with us and see the movie, we'll let you guys go home early, but the rest of us would have <laughs> had to have stayed there, so they said, okay, we'll go, because the movie was only an hour and something minutes long. You know, that's weird, because I was sick when that movie came out, and I went to see it. I had the flu, so... I was miserable. So we both had a terrible. So see, I lay odds. Maybe if we saw it again, we'd probably see that it was good and we'd like it. But we should watch it. We probably should. So yeah. I, I don't know if I should say that. Mu, uh, Mulan. I like. It was nice. I liked the story, but I don't feel like some of it was executed very well. I I, I love that movie actually. Mulan. Yeah, it was fine. Um, it was like yeah, woman power. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> but. Um, I say two of my top favorites are definitely like Aladdin and Peter Pan. Those were always like my favorites. I, I can't say Tron because I know that they used a lot of effects for that, but that wasn't that was live action, so that wouldn't count. And Flight of the Navigator was another favorite, but that was live action, so that doesn't count. So I'd say Aladdin and Peter Pan. Now for computer animated, I would say Toy Story and The Incredibles. Even though that was partly Pixar, that still was part Disney. So which one do you think were underrated? Um, I don't know. Wally, I know was I wouldn't say for favorites. I don't think that was Disney, so that doesn't count. Yeah. Now underrated. Let me think. See, I was I was young, so I don't remember. Uh, Disney didn't come out with that many films that were underrated, that were yeah. that were really good, and that people didn't give credit. So I really can't <laughs> say. Um, so I can think of a lot of underrated films, but none that are Disney. That's really hard to yeah. say. Um, I could think of a few overrated. I mean, wasn't wasn't a Bug's Life? Wasn't that Disney? Yeah, that um, was kind of overrated. Really? I feel I feel like Cars was too. Cars was good, but I don't feel like it deserved all the hype that it got. Everyone made a big deal. Like, look. About. I don't know. I mean, a bug's life. I really liked a bug's life. Those. Here, look. Remember that truck? That like the truck. I don't know if you can really see. I mean, this pamphlet here. It's like, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, McQueen. You want to do? You know, I feel like everyone gave him too much attention. Well, you know, it, it. I agree with you with cars, but um, a bug's life. I, that motherfucking grasshopper was scary. I'm sorry, I just had to hit record again. Um, yeah, he was. He was I mean, scary. Like I said, that, it that, was. The plot was actually a cool. It plot. was good. Now, it, the only thing was, it just, it didn't deserve all the hype that it got. Well, I, I was, I think I was young. I don't remember what year that came out. It's just, everywhere I turned my face, they, everyone would not shut up about, see, part of that might be because of, like, the, the marketing they were doing for it. Like, that could be, it's not just overhype, it's like, like, <laughs> when a movie comes out, everyone has to market the crap out of it. They're like, you know, um, you know, it comes out, you have to, you cannot escape the fact that it's coming out. Those bugs were cute. I mean, the marketing 
they were all marketable. Yeah, yeah. You can imagine, like, I would have loved to have a little like backpack the, of that ladybug. Like when Thor came out, the guys who, no, Thor was good, nothing wrong with Thor. I'm just saying, like, yeah. when Spill, I love Spill.com, watch their really funny movie reviews. Spill had said this movie technically should be called Horror because they um, they like market all this stuff for it. Thing is, that deserved the hype it got. That was good, but I'm just saying like they made a good point. A lot of films like market the crap out of it when it comes out. But yeah, but overall for Disney though, I can't think of any underrated Disney films because yeah. Disney Disney's for overall has come out with some really um really good stuff. Okay. Now we should move on. All right, Marciano three one five. What's your favorite movie of all time? Now, I know I've answered this many times, but there's probably a lot of new viewers who don't know who I am or who have just recently tuned in and who don't know who you are, so we could both answer this question. What's, I know I've answered this many times, and a lot of you probably already know what it is. Just by the background of my channel, you probably already know, but what's your favorite film of all time? I don't know if I have one, but if I had to say, I would pick a trilogy, believe it or not. Um, I want to say Back to the Future trilogy. That's a good one to have. It was a great movie. It was like chill fest. I thought I was going to have a stroke when From I first From all the chills you had, yeah. Yeah, and um... Because I had, cause there were two people in college actually who I was with who, I remember, um, I think I said, hey, do you want to guys want to come over to my house and watch something? And they said they've never seen Back to the Future. I'm like, really? Because they go on about some of these films that come out now, and I'm like, yeah, every now and then you'll see a good one now. I said, I cannot think of a film that comes out now that can compare to Back to the Future. No. I said, you've got to see this. I showed them, you, half the time they're watching, they're like, oh my god, I can really see where all the hype came from. And, and when I first saw it, I didn't saw it when it first came out, I saw the trilogy, because um, right. I remember my mother bought the box set, and um, she put it on, and I was like little, and I remember just like starting to like twitch, because it was like hours of awesomeness. and. It that, was. That's, that, that's a good one to I have. I would have to say that's my favorite. Yeah, I was in the beginning. I didn't have just one favorite because that. Yeah, Back to the Future one. Like that was because two and three were amazing. Like I think out of all three, if you really, if you, I've watched them hundreds of times. As a film, out of all three of them, technically one's the best one. Yeah, it, it's um, it's a great movie. It's. I'm the, saying just as a film alone. Yeah. Now that is one of my top favorites. I have a set of top favorites. Um, Back to the Future, The Never Ending Story. Dennis the Menace, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, because those really are really good films. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. There's a few others I can't think of, but my number one all-time favorite is Ghostbusters, because if you really think about it, there's, it's just I, I can go on and on about that. Like that gives everything you'd want in a film. It has horror elements. It has comedy. It has a little bit of drama. It mainly has, of course, it has some action, awesome yeah. action, and it, there's like romance to it. Like it has a little bit of like every element to it or every genre to it, and it's just. Of course, awesomeness and chills, you know, so, I mean, I can't... What else can I say? So, you guys are getting married. When is little MJ Jr. coming along? Well, I know you've answered this too. Like, everybody who, like, everyone in town, everyone at my job, everyone, you know, I know, like, has asked me this numerous times. We're suspecting probably somewhere within... Hold on a second. Like, we're suspecting somewhere within fall of 2012, probably. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't get hitched before then. Yeah, we, like, we don't... Somewhere between then to like maybe this fall, like we don't know. Yeah. Now, when is MJ Jr. coming along? Well, not for a while, and it's funny because yeah, I'm not his, getting pregnant anytime soon. Well, I know I think there's another question later that asks about our kids, mm -hmm. and I'll answer that then. But he is literally going to be MJ Kelly, another MJ Kelly, because his initials are going to be MJK. Yeah, I mean, so, I, I thought that would be great because your father is MJ. My father is MJK Senior, so I'm except his name's not his name isn't the same as mine. No, 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 the initials are. The initials are. So we're gonna I'm gonna carry it on, and I'm hopefully I'm gonna try to impose. Uh, I don't wanna say impose, but like. No, no, when you have a son, you're gonna, he's going to be MJK as well. Here, I got a list of names you could use. I just carry on the tradition. Yeah. 